Designing and creating Flutter apps is a fascinating process. You've celebrated your first Hello World app, then you've enjoyed creating your BMI calculator and maybe you've also saved data into your device using some form of local storage and then retrieved data from a web service. But there comes a time where you realize that Flutter alone, like any other front-end development tool, becomes a little too limited for your ideas. Maybe you want to share data among devices or send notifications to your users or want to add authentication features to your apps. And at that time, you understand that to really boost your app's features, you also need a back-end technology like Java or .NET or PHP. And you might also need to deal with a server database like MySQL or SQL Server. And if you're not already a back-end developer, you need to learn a new language and start over again. But even if you already master one of those technologies, you need to create a new application, host it somewhere, and test it over. That is a lot of time and effort. What if I told you it doesn't really have to be that way? In many common scenarios, you can add backend features to your Flutter app literally without writing a single line of backend code. And here comes Firebase. According to the official definition, Firebase is a set of tools that help you build and run successful apps. Which is pretty generic, I guess, so let's delve a bit deeper into that. Firebase provides several backend tools that you can use from your Flutter app. When you enter the Firebase console, that you can easily access from your browser without installing anything, you can easily see some of the most important ones. During this course, you will use authentication that provides several ways for your users to authenticate, including username and password, and third-party providers like Google and Facebook. You'll use the Firestore database which allows reading and writing data in a centralized NoSQL database in the cloud. You'll see how to save pictures taken from your device gallery leveraging Firebase storage, and you'll also engage with your users sending notifications through cloud messaging. You also get other tools when using Firebase, including machine learning tools, usage analytics, and testing. But there's more. To provide a complete integration between Flutter and Firebase, Google developers have created Flutter Fire, a set of plugins that make using Firebase from your Flutter app extremely easy. Right, let's see some action and create your first Firebase project in the next episode.